invasion buried Iraq in a sense. Dia Azawi's art reflects the destruction the countries witnessed, especially in the years after Saddam Hussein. Hours into the U.S. invasion of Iraq, the National Museum was ransacked. Thousands of priceless relics were lost. This is representing some pieces which disappeared. They allow all these people to do what they want, to get what they want, and we ended up in a way uh, a loss of more than 5,000 pieces. Nobody knows what happened to these pieces. Azawi's exhibition in Qatar features hundreds of works spanning 50 years worth of drawings, books, and sculptures. They also include large-scale paintings such as this one, entitled Mission of Destruction. It's a reaction to the American invasion of Iraq in 2003, and Azawi says it's a response to the devastation that war caused on Iraqi society. The destruction of any antiquities is a crime, a crime not against the Iraqi, against the humanity. This is belong to humanity, it doesn't belong to Iraq, to Iraq only. This is my manifesto against what happened in Iraq after 2003. The anguish he shows represents the impact of conflict, not just on Iraqis, but shared too by Palestinians. His depiction of the Sabra and Shatila massacre in 1982 is a reminder of ongoing atrocities around the world. Azawi's work has been showcased in New York, London, and Paris, but this is one of the largest solo exhibitions ever staged. It's called, I Am The Cry, Who Will Give Voice To Me? Azawi is not only a pioneer of modern art and one of the most influential living artists, he is that voice. Andrew Chappelle, Al Jazeera, Doha.